Hello, my name is Wouter from RetrofitLab.com and in this video we're going to test the just released new Osram bulb Cool Blue Intense Next Generation. We're going to test it against its older brothers, the Nightbreaker Laser, the Cool Blue Intense, the second generation and the Cool Blue Boost. So what's different about this bulb is um, actually it's rated up to 6200K. Um, where the CBI is rated and, uh, up until 6000 and the uh, Cool Blue Boost is rated until 7000k. So this one should be slightly higher, but still um, it is within the legal range, at least for the European roads, since it has uh, an ECE mark. So uh, you're safe to put this in your headlights, even when you're in Germany or in another um, European country. So this is how we're going to test it. We're going to test it in this luminous, luminous flux meter. Uh, we're going to measure the total light output compared to the other bulbs. And we're also going to compare it in a projector. So this is the Evo XR 2.0. We're going to put the bulb in there, light it up and uh, with a light meter see what the differences are and see if it's really plus 150 percent as the package says so let's run the first test with our luminous flux meter um, for this we're going to light up the bulb um, we're going to put it here in the d2s connector um, i'll switch it on just to warm up for a little bit switch on the meter and then we have to wait for about 10, 20 seconds until we have the final light output because the bulb of course has the warm up time. So we need to realize this is the um, Osram uh, Nightbreaker laser bulb, D2S. So let's see what the final value will be. on max so it will just keep the highest uh, measurement on the screen 5360 still going up a little bit five thousand about five thousand five hundred and fifty that's it for the night breaker laser bulb I'll switch it off then we'll take the next bulb for the test so the next bulb is the cbi current generation so i'll connect it switch it on switch on the light meter again Keep the maximum value on the screen. Well, doesn't seem like it's going up any further, 4700 almost. The bulb was already wound up, so I don't think it was, it's going much higher. 4,700, I think that's about it. So that's a significant lower measurement than the Nightbreaker laser, which at 5,550, the CBI ends at 4,850. So switch it off, it's quite hot. So next is the Osram Cool Blue Boost. Switch it on, reset the light meter. This bulb, of course, has the, uh, the most, the, the highest Kelvin rating, 7000K. So I don't expect this bulb to be uh, extremely bright. But 
it's not very bad. It's already over the measurement of the CBI, actually. It's already on 5,000. See if it's going up a little bit more. 5,150. Almost at 5,300. I think that's about it. But it's significantly higher than the current generation of the CBI. 5,300, oh, still going up a little bit. So it's almost 5,400. So it's not as bright as the Nightbreaker laser, but still it's almost as bright, much brighter than the current generation CBI. Switch it off. So there it goes, the new bulb, the Osram CBN, it's officially labeled. Um, it is Cool Blue Boost Intense Next Generation. So reset the light meter. So there we go. The moment of truth. Switch it to max. Five thousand four hundred and fifty. This is quite good. Now it's just past the school blue boost. Five thousand four hundred and fifty. I think that's everything that it can do. Almost five thousand five hundred. Quite good. Not yet as good as the Nightbreaker laser, which uh, was reading 5,550. But this new Osram uh, CBI, actually it's called CBN, Cool Blue Intense Next Generation, is doing much better than the previous generation. Look, it's still going up a little bit. It's, all, it's at the same value now as the Nightbreaker laser, 5,550. Where the Cool Blue Boost was at 5,400. So actually, it is quite a good improvement over the, the current generation, second generation CBI, this is the third generation, and the light output is much better. So this was the first test with the luminous flux meter. Now we're going to uh, put the bulbs in a projector and see if we can um, uh, find the same difference, the same measurements um, compared to each other when it's uh, lit up in a projector. So let's get to the wall and uh, let's get to the next test. So this is the second test that we'll do. We'll test the bulbs in a projector. It's actually the EVO XR 2.0. We're testing it at about four or five meters distance from our testing wall. I have uh, the light meter here. We will just read the maximum reading that it will give uh, here on the wall on the low beam setting. And then compare the outputs to each other and uh, see if we still, if we see again that the CBN has a better light output than its previous gen generation. So this is the Nightbreaker laser. I'll switch on the light meter. I'll just move the sensor uh, until it has picked up the maximum value peak setting so it keeps the highest measurement on the screen. So this measures the kilo lux. It's about 6.25 right now. 6.26 well i guess it's not going up any further than this 6.27 well that's what i'll write down for the nightbreaker laser now let's get to the next one the osram cbi current generation so we put the cbi bulb uh, the current generation second generation in the projector and now um, we're going to see what the maximum reading is that we can get 
from the hotspot of the Evo XR 2.0 projector. So let's see what we can get. 5.06, 5 5.08, 5 9. Well, doesn't go up any further. So the maximum reading is 5.09. That's significantly lower than the Nightbreaker laser, which was reading uh, 6.27. So, so far it's the same pattern that we saw with the other um, testing method. So let's get to the next bulb, the Osram CBB Cool Blue Boost. So the Osram Cool Blue Boost is now installed and warmed up. So let's measure. This should give a higher reading than the CBI second generation. Yeah, it's already higher. 5.94, 6.05. Yeah, that's it. 605 for the Osram Cool Blue Boost. So, this is the moment of truth. Installed is the new generation Osram CBI, or also called CBN. It's warmed up, installed in the Evo XR 2.0 Aharon projector. So, let's see if it's uh, reading uh, almost as high as the Nightbreaker laser. So, light meter switched on, switched to peak me uh, measurement. Yeah, there we go, 605. Six point thirteen. Six point fifteen. Yeah. So that's going to be it. So we see the same pattern with this test as we saw with the first test. The brightest bulb still is the Nightbreaker laser, but now the new generation Osram uh, Cool Blue Intense bulb is almost as bright as the, the laser bulb. So if you're looking for a bulb with more bluish kind of light, uh, and especially if you're in Europe and you have to apply to the uh, European uh, rules, then this is definitely the best bulb that's on the market right now. So um, it's much brighter, about 20% brighter almost than the current generation Osram CBI. So that's a huge improvement. So uh, Osram did a good job again in improving their own products. Um, so yeah, if you want to order this bulb, it's available uh, now. Check the link in the description and uh, we'll, see you we'll see you order soon. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.